the first thing is to con kind of connect to your your uh, approach about the per personal organizational and and systemic approach to these things um and i think that um in a way what we what we're attempting to do is to sort of complete the circle and bring the systemic back into the personal the one of the things that is relatively easy and has been done very successfully by business schools and others is to replicate learning when it's at a rational level. The question is, how do you replicate learning at the emotional and spiritual level? Particularly the you know, ethical and, and, and spiritual kind of leadership is very much experiential. It's very much dependent on the, uh, the context in the room. It's very much dependent on the skills of the individual facilitator and their beliefs and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So you get a great, you get a great um, environment. You can get a great solution. But it's, it, but it's not really replicable and about how can we systemize um, an approach for leadership that, um, that enables it to be reproducible, but at the same time allows it to be contextual and personal. And I think that a, with what we're trying to do is to get people to think about being um, proactive in rewiring their own brain rather than have their brain rewired for them. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have to give people a certain amount of knowledge and you have to give people certain skills, but then you have to let them get on with it or at least provide the environment where they can do it and just sort of, you know, quality control it and give a, a, a slight hand to it and so on and so forth. And I think that the more we think about that, the more that is the future of learning and it's the, and it's the way things are happening. And as a first step, I think that where do we start with this? It's very much a chicken and egg thing, but I think very much we have to start with the leader. Um, and we need, if we don't have a few of the right kind of leaders to start this process off, then we'll never get, we'll never get to, to where we want to go. Uh, because if you have leaders who are trying to do this, this systematic um, approach, this new systematic approach, but they're all ego driven, you know, like typical, you know, large organizations and consulting companies, uh, because all, all their bottom, all they're thinking about is what is the benefit for them? Even if it's long term, it's still about the benefit for them. But as long as we're thinking about that, um, we're not going to have the kind of leaders we need to do the kind of things that you're talking about.